Hello everyone, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, I wanted to share a message with you that I received this morning, August 2nd, 2022. Um, a message was from the Most High after my prayer in, re in regards to Pastor Peter Chambers. Um, I had to write the message down because I didn't want to forget anything. So if you see me gazing down, I'm just reading my notes, the message. And this is how it begins. In the early hours on the 2nd of August, 2022, after my prayer, the Most High spoke into my spirit regarding Pastor Peter Chambers. He said, my son Peter Chambers will be handpicked to pray for the island, the nation of Jamaica. What is to come upon this land will be a disaster. The land will be in great turmoil. His enemies will beg him to pray to his God for mercy and peace, for drastic calamity has fallen upon them. I then spoke to the Almighty God and I said, Heavenly Father, if this message is really from you, please give me a confirmation through scripture to back up this message that you have given me before I deliver it to Pastor Peter Chambers. I then paused and as I stood there, I randomly opened up my Bible to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 37. To my amazement, this is the chapter where Jeremiah was sent to prison, just like Pastor Chambers was, arrested and imprisoned. Jeremiah 30, 37, verse 3, stood out before my eyes, where King Zedekiah sent two men, Zephaniah the priest and Jehu call to seek and find the prophet Jeremiah and they said to him saying pray now unto the Lord our God for us now them saying that I believe the men of today um, who seek pastor chambers will be some type of politicians from the government and other men from high positions the people of Jamaica will say the citizens of Jamaica will say, isn't this the pastor, Peter Chambers, who they once imprisoned? Now, this is going to be a shock to the nation and to the people who knew the incident when he was arrested and imprisoned. It will be on the media, of course, on all social media. It will be the talk. The spirit of pride will melt away from his enemies because the spirit of fear has overtaken them. Now, um, that was the end of the message and I, I had to get a confirmation before I delivered a message. That's what I normally do. And to my amazement, like I said before, when I opened it up, I opened to Jeremiah 37, a prophet in the old days that was imprisoned and arrested for no apparent reason, just because he delivered the truth and nothing but the truth. Now, the calamities and the disaster that I believe will be coming to Jamaica, unfortunately, I hate to say this, and it won't be just Jamaica, it will be all over the world, will be the tsunamis and most probably um, earthquakes. Now, the people, we all need to take heed. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, I plead with you to get your lives straight. Get saved. Be baptized, find a church. It pays to serve the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Time is basically running out. And I see all the churches being fooled at this time. Unfortunately, it has to take a disaster. Of course, Pastor um, Chambers Church, his ministry, people are going to actually um, seek him and to find his church, to fill his church, to hear the message, the real messages. And I believe Father is going to pick other true men of God, true men and women of God around the world to represent their nation. They are going to be handpicked just like Pastor Chambers is going to be handpicked. And when this happens, this is going to shock the people. Because sometimes Father has to use disasters to basically humble us, to break us, especially when he loves us. 
And I pray that all of us, including myself, will take heed of this message. Thank you for listening. God bless. Take care. Shalom.